What I loved about Sawfall initially was really I just had so much fun out there. I loved being on the field, I loved getting dirty. I was just happy and smiling all the time. <laughs> My sister and I were three years apart. Growing up, I just always wanted to be just like her. In high school, we played together for one year. So she was a senior and I was a freshman and we won our CIF championship together. We were in California and she was the pitcher and I was playing first base. So the last couple outs of the game, it was basically a ground ball to me. Then I just stepped on first base. And since she was graduating, it was kind of like passing the torch and something that we both reminisce and look back on all the time. She is one of my biggest supporters, along with my parents and my little brother. They have been my biggest supporters for my entire life, my entire softball career. Ah! I love being a pitcher because I have control of the ball. I get to touch the ball every single pitch of the game. I want to beat the hitter. That's my motivation and that's my goal every single time. You can't be afraid, you have to be fearless. You have to go out there and have command of the ball, have command of the circle, and then just go after every single hitter that you're facing because their job is to hit the ball off us, but our job is to get them out. I know that I'm a good softball player. I know that I can pitch well, but there's moments that are going to be tough. There's moments that you're going to give up the home run, you're going to hit somebody, you're going to walk somebody, but it's only for that moment. You're going to have to be able to forget about it or that's going to affect the next hitter. There was a couple different schools that I was deciding between. But when I went to University of Michigan on my visit, I fell in love with the place, I fell in love with the people, and I knew that that was gonna be my home. One of my favorite memories is my senior year at the Women's College World Series. We were in the second game of the championship series against the University of Florida, and I shut out Florida for that game. We scored in the first inning, and I went seven innings and shut them out, and it was probably one of the best games of my life. The culture of softball has definitely grown within the past 10 years, and even since I've been out of college, it's grown so much, and that's amazing to see all these little girls look up to us. As an athlete, we're kind of like the pioneers of professional softball, and we want those little kids that we're coaching and doing camps and lessons with to make five, six times more than what we're making today. And if that is something that I have a small little part in, then I'm gonna be completely happy with life. When Athletes Unlimited came to me, I was very intrigued right away. It's something that can really put professional softball on the map even more than it already is. I think it's important to be decision makers in our own league because we've been through enough years of softball that we know what works best for us. With Athletes Unlimited, it gives both that individual and team aspect that pushes us and ultimately going to be a better team as well. To be a professional athlete, obviously you need to have the physical ability but it's also just being a good human being and understanding that it's more than just the game and winning. It is about making good connections and really just enjoying the game and having fun. The most important lesson that softball has taught me to never give up. I went through a lot of ups and downs growing up, a lot of injuries, a lot of being the underdog pitcher, but if I'm dedicated to it and I set my mind to it, I can achieve it. Swing and a miss, got her. Haley Wagner, what a performance for her.